Google has all of these documents on all different things. The treasury, oh yes, IRS, everything. Wells Fargo, ring a bell, Bank of America, Citibank. Oh yeah, I've got them all on, love you. Okay, now the next one. This one appears to be, it just says a seven and a five, so I'm going to assume by the places that were checked that it's a expedited fee of 50 I'm not going to use the the D word because the D word refers to gold and silver okay silver dollar I was going to say 50 dot zero zero and then uh, another 25 dot zero zero because it's an incorrect sign symbol there and there was just one check Somebody did a check. Now let's see what this one is. This is uh, send the acknowledgement to IRS Technical Support Division in care of Treasury UCC Contract Trust. Internal Revenue Service, 1500 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest, Washington. District of Columbia 20220. I don't know, but if I'm not mistaken, is that the White House? I don't know, I'm probably wrong. But I thought 1500 Pennsylvania Avenue was the White House. Now, the debtor in this box. The debtor's exact full legal name. It says organization's name. Federal Reserve Note. There it is. It's probably backwards to you. But it won't be if you're lucky enough to get one of my packages. I suggest you get one. No, I don't sell them. No, I don't sell them. I work for the Lord. People have to donate funds to me. I don't have any money. You don't have any money. All we have is coupons. But if you want to donate some coupons to me, then I might be able to make some copies and put it in a package and send it to you. Let's see. I've used up all my coupons because I had to print out all this stuff. I had to get ink and paper and ink and paper. And I've been working night and day, night and day, night and day for, hmm, well, I have been working night and day and night and day since March 17th. Well, actually, before then, 2012. I started this back in 1993. But it was a lot of information for me to know, so the Lord had to spoon feed me. Now, let's go on here. It says it's in the city of Washington, state of D.C. So, D.C. is a state. Okay. Get that through your noggin, read your constitution. Of course, I don't recognize it as that, but it is. It is in, in international negotiations. It's a state. There's people that live there that want to vote. And uh, under organization, oh, now here it says down here the type of organization. It says currency. It's a currency organization. And the jurisdiction of the organization is universal. So it's everywhere. And then it says the organizational ID number, if any. And that number is GC40967925. Capital A. Now we'll move down to the next one. There's a bunch of blanks. So we'll come down here to the secured party. And this is the individual's last name. An E-Knight. K-N-I-G-H-T. 
Now, I lived across the street from Mrs. Knight when we lived on Parsons Place. That was the first house we lived in when we moved from Kentucky to California. It was a fun trip. Should have been there. Her first name is Loretta. And this mailing address goes to the circuit court for, well, it's a M-O-N-T period. So I'm assuming, and it's not really a good idea to assume, but I'm assuming that abbrevi uh, abbreviation is for Montgomery. I don't know. Could be wrong. But it says it's a county. So we could look that up. But it's a circuit court for Mont period county 50 maryland avenue in rockville maryland postal code 20850 usa is the country why didn't they just say they were in maryland they've got everything else going for them here now this financing statement is there's an apostille on it. I have some of those too. Attached to various documents. I have apostilles. Because you need that when you're going to be engaged or involved in any kind of international negotiations. That's a way for them to know that your document is authentic. Now, the paper might be authentic, but let's talk about that transaction. That's the problem. So now it says that this is a public document. It's been signed by Kimberly V. Johnson. Oh, the Johnsons live next door. Oh, also, I don't want to forget about my uncles. My grandma, my grandma Wilkes. Well, her first marriage was to a Johnson. She had four children. The oldest one, he produced heirs, twins and another one. My favorite, my cousins. But my Aunt Olive, my Uncle Gordon, and my Uncle Melton, they did not have any children. But their last name was Johnson. And my Uncle Gordon, I was real smart. I set me up really good. I know I found all his papers, especially those life insurance policies. Those are fun, because I don't think they've been cashed in yet. And even if they have been, well, we're going to have to talk about the price of that and the fact that it should have been contracted in what? Oh, yes, it was at a time when the currency represented coin. Yeah. And I'm not talking fractional either. Even though, yeah, there's fractional currency running around. Anyway, it says here that she was acting in the capacity of office clerk. Million dollar deals happening. Oh, this is bigger than that. It's bigger than a million. Put a couple more zeros on it. And it bears the seal slash stamp of the Department of Assessments and Taxation certified at Annapolis, Maryland, the 24th day of October, 2011. Oh, not too long ago by the Secretary of State of Maryland hmm. number 29263 and there's a seal well it says seal and it says signature but it says down here it's a lesser lessee and it's a consignee consign or Bailey Baylor and a seller buyer and it's a debtor and there's an assignee now let's go to the next page this is where it gets good now it says up here at the top 
the Federal Reserve note? Well, it says under miscellaneous, it's a money order. Hmm. Then when you look farther down on the page, I'll show it to you. Say this. That's one of those forever stamps. Upside down. Hmm. Let me tell you what it says next to it. It says one trillion dollars. And it has the word dollars in there. And then it has in parentheses Federal Reserve note. Now what does that mean? Does that mean one note? Does that mean the organization? Or does that mean not really, because it's in parentheses? They use the word dollar in Federal Reserve note in the same line. I don't think they realize Federal Reserve note is coupon. It says it's accepted for value and returned for value and exempt. And it says from Levi. L E V I. Does that mean he's not wearing jeans? <laughs> oh, I know. Levi. Priest. Okay. Exemption number. Two one six six seven 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 three one. Sounds like a lucky combination to me. Now, you'll have to forgive me. I cannot pronounce this name. Now, I'm not sure if it's Hamid or Hamd or Hamid or Wood. That's the last part because somebody's got little colon in there. And this first part of the name, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to spell it. G-H-O-R-O-U-N-L-D-E-L-C-H-E. H colon H A M E D. Now it says deposit to the U.S. Treasury and charge the same to. Now it's the other way around. Hamed G whatever. <laughs> I might have to count that and do it in numerology because you know. Letters are numbers, and numbers are letters. And there's also some other things happening with your language that you're not aware of. We'll get to that in another video. This is too important. Are you kidding? This guy's claiming down the Federal Reserve note for a trillion dollars. Really, it was a singular word, so. Maybe he thinks one Federal Reserve note's worth a trillion. I don't know. I don't know. It needs to be investigated. Oh, I sent it to some experts today, along with some other information. I don't know if I'll get time to get to that. Now, this last item that I'm going to show you in this video, this is to the Department of Assessment. This is to the IRS Technical Support Division. And this is the Treasury UCC Contract Trust. And this is the Internal Revenue Avenue. Internal Revenue Avenue Northwest. So it doesn't say Internal Revenue Service. It just says Internal Revenue Avenue, Northwest, hmm. Washington, D.C. See, there's one thing that I've always been into, and that's 
detail. I love to go over your documents because I can pick out the mistakes. Okay, now this one's got 75 Hundred. It looks like it's no dot with no zero zeros in. Oh, this one's got two lines. It's written. It's done the right way. But see, these are only one-liners up there. You might think that's funny, but it's not. Because when you're dealing with legal documents, everything needs to be correct. This one happens to be on Oh United States Federal Reserve System Oh it's the same guy He's claiming to own it Now this one has a forever stamp a different one with the Liberty Got it right upside. So you've got one upside down, one right side up. Okay? Really ought to go get these documents. It's available on the internet. And oh, by the way, any of the ones that you can't view on the internet, you can pay. You can pay for them. It's only a few cents a page. Yeah, I got everything on this house here. I'm going to turn that over to the, I don't know which department deserves it. I think I should give it to my sheriffs first because they've been having to deal with all this criminal activity. In fact, you had a lot of them doing your dirty work. But God's not going to let that happen anymore. That's why I was born. To wake you up to your responsibility. You have responsibility. You took that oath. You pledged allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic. There's no democracy. That's a lie. Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Now when you take an oath of office, you're taking it before God and the people. You can't take God out of anything because God created you and God is the reason the states were thankful it's in every one of their preambles <gasps> why don't you do something you've never done why don't you go read your constitution and you're not stepping on this land here if I see any more nonsense tacked up on the door you're all going to prison. I'm giving you fair warning right now. You start following the law. Because I don't have to do anything. God does it for me. I have complete and total faith in the Lord. I don't need guns and I don't need, I don't have to go into court anymore either. I don't have to. I've already won all my cases. This is a done deal. Roger Sherman's judge, he was adamant about Article 1, Section 10. Let me tell you something. You're all complaining and crying about constitutional rights. You don't have any rights because you don't have a constitution. You have not been a good citizen. You are not helping your sheriff. You are not helping your own people. And I'm going to tell you something. The orange balls that are falling from the sky, those are all in Revelations. 
It's happening, folks. Revelations is happening right now. And you're not going to be going to hell. And anyway, I have cousins that live in hell, Norway. Happens to be a nice place. Can't wait to go. I want to visit them. They're called black holes. Mm -hmm. Your ancestors are in the ETs out there. Now they want you to graduate because this is the close of the fifth day. You've been eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God told you don't eat from it. He didn't say you couldn't look at the leaves. Now you got a noggin up here. You need to start using it. Use it for something more than a hat rack. Get your constitution out. Start reading it. Because the Lord's coming. There's not going to be any more fraud. We're going to get our ancestors gold and silver bag. Now, there's more that went in that package. But we're going to have to discuss that at another time. Because this is getting to be pretty long. And I'm going to be posting some of it on the internet. And some of it is going to be on a disc. And it's going to go to the right people. Because I believe in God and my country. And I love you. And I want you to be a part of the new day. I want to have people play with. I love you.